everyone welcome to my youtube channel today i'm going to show you how to set placeholder text in a text box in c sharp so let's start with that so first we need two text boxes for that you need to go to toolbox and after the search for text box and just drag it and drop it here just copy and paste it to replicate it and i need few labels to search for label and just drag and drop it and just replicate it in the same way and I need one button okay so just align it properly wow. and after that change its font I am um, so change the text of label 1 to login and let me increase its font size just for that click on font and just click on this and after that I'm setting it 22 and just changing its font okay so it's now login and change it to username for that go to properties and search for text and type username in the same way change this for password okay and after that change this button to login and now what we need to do is I want to set the this text box with a placeholder that is username uh, just first you need to do one thing search go to text and just type username and just go to background color and in this just search for inactive caption just click on that and in the same way go to the second text box and just write the text password and in the same way search for background color and just type inactive caption and just start it but there will actually it will show like this but we don't know we don't need this we need watermark for that we need to create two method for this and two method for this sorry event and for creating an event just click on this and just search for events like uh, text box enter event and the enter event search for enter here we find it and just double click on this and enter event is generated in this enter event you need to type if text box 1 and after that text box 1 dot text is equal to is equal to what we have entered is username just type it here username if text box is with this text then what we need to do is text box one dot text is equal to null and change the color of the text box dot four color is equal to color dot black and in the same way we need to create one method one more event for this that is leave event when we are leaving the text box then what the condition that should be fulfilled so that I just double click on this leave and you can see that text box one dot leave event and in this text box you need to type text box one dot text is equal to is equal to null then what we need to perform is just text box one dot text is equal to username and text box one dot for color is equal to color dot silver if we are leaving the text box and the text box text box is still empty then the text box should be assigned with the username and the color of that username will be silver that is in this form 
and if there is some text if there is some text within the text box then that should be in the black color so let's check it out how it's actually working and here you can see this is hard coded and this you can see the background is a little bit let me just change its color I have done a bit wrong that poor color is textual so inactive caption and background color will be white and just make its background color also white the window let me just change it to window and for color will be inactive caption same for this just change its color to let me just change it to background color to windows and just save it and just start it and here you can see that while this is username it's like a uh, placeholder when you click on this it's empty and you can type anything and when you leave it it's in the that same thing but this is not with this text box so for second text box you also need to do the same just go to properties and event and enter event we need to generate one enter event and just copy this code and paste it here and we need to just change text box name because it's text box 2 and what is the placeholder is password and in the same way we need to generate one more event that is leave event so search for leave event and here it is just copy this code and paste it here just change it to two and they this change it to password and just start it and here you can see now it's working perfectly when this is uh, actually looking like a placeholder and it's actually a placeholder when you click on this this is empty when you click on this it, this is empty if you have not entered then this um, placeholder will be visible and when you enter something the placeholder will be invisible okay so that's it for the today's video thanks for watching please subscribe my youtube channel and don't forget to press the bell icon if you have any queries then please comment in the comment box and if you want any videos on some particular topic then also put that in comment box thanks